There are some countries without which the world would have a completely different face than the one we know today. I mean, we can all imagine how the world would be without the USA, Great Britain, or Italy. A world without hamburgers, corporations, the UN, tea-based rituals, big clocks named Ben, pizza, pasta, romantic songs, and why not picturesque mob movies. The list could go on forever, but we have just one question. How many of you have tried to think of a world without Romania? For those of you who haven't, take a good look onward. To begin with, try to imagine writing your entire life with only a pencil. Not so convenient, is it? In case you didn't know, and we're sure you didn't, the fountain pen was invented by a Romanian professor named Petrache Poinaru. His invention was patented by the French government in May 1827. Dr. Stefan Otobleja, another illustrious Romanian scientist, is renowned as the father of cybernetics. Practically, he's the inventor of modern cybernetics, and the first to state that cybernetics originates in psychology. Nicolae Paulescu, a Romanian physiologist, invented insulin. A very controversial invention initially, and very much disregarded. Only 50 years later, after two Canadians received a Nobel for the same invention, was Nikolai Paulescu's precedence finally recognized, and he was rightfully acknowledged as the true inventor of insulin. As in the 20th century, time was the key word for solving anything. The jet plane invented by Henry Kwanda was one of the most revolutionary inventions ever. Without him, the jet plane would probably have been invented much later. Without a Romanian gymnast, the computers wouldn't have had the possibility to learn to display a perfect 10. Nadia Comaneci got the first 10 in the history of gymnastics in Montreal, 1976. Imagine Bram Stoker trying to find a count in order to write his bestseller, and Hollywood craving for a vampire to put him on the big screen. So they would all have to thank Vlad Tepes, the Romanian medieval ruler who had the bad luck of becoming the bloodthirsty demon of modern times. Probably a long time would have passed until someone may have thought of writing a complete history of religions. Mircea Eliade was the first in the world to do it. All around the world, nobody would have thought of mocking a serious matter like death. <laughs> Natively creative, the Romanians have their own way of dealing with it by laughing in its face. We are the first nation to have a happy graveyard, renowned for its storytelling funeral plates. Unless UEFA had approved a one meter wide goal, nobody would have been able to defend four penalty strikes in a row. This performance by Romanian goalkeeper Helmut Dukadam granted Stau Bucharest the Champions Cup in 1986. Hey, Mr. Bill Gates, we want to congratulate you for being the richest man in the world. <laughs> but let's put it this way, you owe us big time. Mind. The second spoken language in your company is Romanian. Repeat after me, Multimesc. Thank you, that is. But let's move on to other gates, more pleasant ones this time. The gates in Maramurish are unique in the world for their architecture, so take a glimpse. If we're good at one thing, it's having a good time. Gastronomically speaking, we are the proud owners of the most mouth-pleasing dishes in the world. And if you try these, we kindly recommend you to feast your senses on our world-renowned wines with a history of centuries. The history of art would have been many pages thinner without the contribution of such a great sculpture as Brancusch. Brancusch did much to encourage a revival of carving and great respect for an artist's materials. Brancusch's sculptures are rightly now considered to be the work of a modern master. Another great Romanian contribution to architecture is the Brancovanesque style, a unique style renowned worldwide. Americans have one thing to thank us for, their national sport. Because while other people were chasing wild goats in order to constitute a national sport, Romanians invented the godfather of baseball. A sort of baseball, that is, called the Wiener, which was first attested to in 1364. Last but not least, we have to admit that all the great minds behind all these achievements owe a great deal to the one thing that binds us all. That very special thing that relishes us, that makes us get new friends, that comes with us to football matches, that likes to stay with us at family reunions, that likes Christmas, Labor Day, and all our thirsty mates, and that brought us here today, excellent beer.